Yo guys, Jonathan here, back with Austin and Sarah. We're talking AI, entertainment, gaming, traveling, maybe even some selfies. I do a few of those. Mm -hmm. Maybe not selfies, but I do all the other things all the time. We actually have AI on board with gaming, right? So of course, you need a powerful processor to be able to game properly. But there's also some other cool stuff that you can actually take advantage of. So if I actually pull up a game here, one of the cool things here is that if I jump into it, you'll see that not only does it take up the full screen, but say I get like a notification or something right now. Well, I'm in the middle of my game. I don't want to, you know, die because mom texted me asking for milk or something. So what you can do, hey, it happens, okay? okay. Hey, 2% or whole? Whole. 2%. <laughs> I don't know what your mom likes. Well, you know, I mean, it's like, there's only so health, like, you don't need to be that healthy in life. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, so you can actually game and not have to deal with, like, notifications or whatever. The phone is smart enough to know, oh, look, this is what I'm doing. I'm gaming. I don't want to be interrupted. Mom, just give me, like, five more minutes. It's fine. And what's also cool is that because this has such a large battery, we're getting not only like a, about a day and a half of usage, but almost more importantly than that, say you're gaming all day, gotta hit that charger, in like 20 minutes you can supercharge the battery up to like a full day of usage. So pretty much not, you're unstoppable. So. Quit gaming, man. We're not gonna get anything done. We gotta go to selfies. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, it's it's, it's <laughs> work, okay? Sarah, take it away. <laughs> okay, well, the thing that makes a good picture, I think, is something that resembles some maybe more expensive cameras. You have DSLRs, you know, they, they're really good about blurring the background, which is called bokeh. And so with this, it uses AI to really detect where are the edges with the face. It separates the person in the background. And I would like to demonstrate that with a selfie. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to take a selfie here. See, the background is already pretty blurred. Okay. Smile, Austin. You got me, didn't you? Perfect. And see, oh, and see, it even got the blur around John's fingers. Yeah, the way it should be. Yes, yes. And see, nice yeah, it separates us from the background. Um, yeah, it's a pretty darn good picture. And so not only do you have that, you know, in this camera, but you can take your selfies, superfy them, make them look beautiful. So clearly, beautiful selfies not a problem, but also there's some love on the rear cameras too. We got two of them here, 16, 20 megapixels. And what's cool is we got a beautiful f1.8 aperture. Which makes not only better photos, but especially when it comes to low light, it allows you to gather a lot more light in. Because I feel like with a lot of smartphones, you know, you're in like a, a restaurant or yeah. some sort of like dim area, and you're like, hey, let's take a picture. Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. But actually having that aperture makes a big difference. Plus having the secondary camera means that you actually have more to pull from. There you go. So whether it's selfies, rear facing cameras, low light, gaming, it's love it all. Yep. Becoming a creator of the next Austin Evans. This is where it's taking you. Thank you, Austin Evans. Of course. Thank you, Sarah. And we'll catch you guys later. After we fight to the death. You're dead. Whoa. <laughs> it's like straight for the neck, man. Right in the jugular. You're dead. Later. You're dead.